Hollywood done came to Atlanta. It dang near broke the hole. Florence Pog. I don't know how to say her name. How you say that girl name? It was real to me. Florence that girl. Pugh. Florence Pugh? Floris Pugh confirmed that Thunderbolt is now filming. This dropped yesterday. I was thinking about rushing and making a video about Thunderbolts starting their filming process, but screw all of that. Let's look under the hood here at Film Unity. So boom, I started doing some investigations, trying to figure out where the heck they're even filming the movie, seeing if possibly we can figure out a little bit of the storyline or how it really connects, you know, is it being shot in the desert? Is it in the snow, et cetera, et cetera. Came to my knowledge that primarily is going to be shot in Atlanta. Then I was thinking, oh, let me, you know, try to find a way to see the studio set. I researched some stuff. The only thing I got as of right now was the fact that it's being shot at this place, all right? Which is a studio that was built inside of this area of Atlanta called Pinewood. This is where they shot all the Avenger films as well as uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Most of like that, uh, movies who have a big world where they have to animate the background, CGI the whole shindig, they shoot it down in Atlanta, right? So I was thinking to myself, why the heck is they shooting everything down to Atlanta? It has to be a draw, but it has to be a drawing, right? Is it like cheaper to do so, et cetera, et cetera. And also I was trying to find the actual studio because this doesn't really tell us the studio name. It just tells us the studio because I was still trying to see the inside of the studio. Well, good news, back to full screen, I found it. It's called True Lift, you know, some information behind you know just the articles truly this is the studio that kind of does all the major things like i said guardians of the galaxy volume three werewolf by night family feud is shot down there black adam was shot down there it's a lot of big art like most of like the movies that we watch is shot in atlanta which is very interesting right and a studio called truly right Still did not let me see really what it, what it tells to being like uh it, it didn't really show me much about where what it looks like except these like pictures right which is fascinating when you really think about it these are sound stages where they basically create the whole thing you have small places that do commercials and all of that good stuff they doing their thing right Hollywood basically bought up a whole bunch of land and got to work. Back in 2020, when COVID was running amok, they invested $16.5 million. I say all of this to say that it's shenanigans is going down, right? I look, I kept looking into it. I found this. I done struck gold. Apparently, there's a little debacle going on in Georgia over all the movies that's being made in Atlanta for a multitude of reasons, right? First and foremost, you ever watch the end of a Marvel film and you see the logo that says Made in Georgia? Apparently, by them showing that logo, they get a tax credit of 30%, all right? And if you don't understand the significance of that, let's say they spent a million dollars, which they spent way more than a million dollars, but let's say they spent a million dollars on a movie, they don't have to pay a million dollars, they only have to pay $700,000, okay? That's large um, gaps of spending where they can put that money back. That's $300,000 they can put back in their pocket instead of giving it to the government, even though these movies are making billions of dollars, right? But let me keep cooking, right? Okay, so on surface, it says, Georgia's legislators want filmmakers to do more than show a peach at, to earn a state tax credit, okay? The whole gist is, bro, y'all doing the bare minimum, and y'all reaping the rewards of shooting at a low costing state compared to California. Now California, everything in California is expensive. All right. They don't got water naturally. So even tap water is expensive over there. In Georgia, however, you know, it's the woods, it's a southern place. Nobody really respect Georgia to the degree to be like, yeah, we're not paying a million dollars to live in a two bed, two bath 
apartment. But in California, New York, that's a mention to those people, right? But that saying all that to be said, that was part of this article where they was talking about right here. So many data centers are opening and expanding in the state that it's causing a notable drain on the power grid. So many data centers are opening. So they want to uh, suspend certain sale tax exemptions because they're buying so much equipment offered to the data center. And data center is basically people who like help create the CGI in these movies, as well as the people who are doing like the AI work to make the stars look like they're twinkling all of that goofy stuff, right? You know, like the Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Leading Georgia Power Company to say it quickly needs to build or contract for new electrical generation capacities, right? The mo Hollywood that came to Atlanta, it, it dang near broke the hole. You feel me? Like the power grid originally in Atlanta in Georgia wasn't meant to like power half a metropolis while Spider-Man swing through it. All right. It was meant to like, you know, do some Fortnite streaming, et cetera, et cetera. Somebody got a little movie theater cool in the backyard. That's great. We can do all that. But to make got dog on fantastic four look like they in 1960s is sucking up too much energy. Right. Which leads me to say, this is how Thunderbolt, which is the upcoming, uh, film, is in a debacle. Right now, they're currently shooting in Atlanta, but legislators are currently working to get them tax credit off. So the fact that if this movie bombs while being shot in Atlanta, it's gonna cause a real riff in not only the MCU, but also in Hollywood because they gotta change the way they do things. Now, I don't know if they're gonna pay off a legislator and make sure like they can get by two, three more years because really after Avengers 6, uh, Secret Wars, Marvel can really take a little break and start finding another location, another state to make these films. But I'm pretty sure they're banking on the fact to go to Atlanta on all of this because only in Atlanta on that studio is where information is not being leaked. I mean, it's so secluded that people don't, can't get images. Deadpool 3, I mean, Deadpool and Wolverine was shooting that and people was on the side taking pictures of that. That was not happening in Georgia. You know what I'm saying? They got that junk locked down like for Fort Knox. See, she's on this. See, tell me if I'm tripping. Am I looking too much into the numbers or is there something to be said about the tax credits as well as the performance of these movies? I mean, we just seen the Disney princess <laughs> president get kicked out because his movies cost too much. It's not performing as much as Disney needs to, but Comment down below, I am low at Fumunity, and I'll see you in another video. No, what are you waiting for? Do, do it! it! Make your dreams Don't come true! Dreams Just dreams. do it!